and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft survival series. In today's episode, we're going to focus on getting a food source straightened out and hopefully find some diamonds along the way. Now, in terms of which food source we're going to go for today, I think I'm going to start with the automatic cow crusher farm. Reason being is just because beef in general is probably the better food source. It increases your hunger more than others and it lasts a little bit longer. Um, but also, it's going to give me a good supply of leather, which I need in order to get my enchant set up going. Now, in terms of where to put this cow crusher farm, I'm not going to be too picky about it. Simply because eventually I will build a mega base, so to speak, and I will move everything over there. So for right now, we just need to gather the resources. I'm not really going to focus too much on how everything looks, because at the end of the day, this is not going to be the permanent home. It's only going to be temporary. But first, there's a couple of things that I'm going to have to do before I can get started building this cow crusher farm. Although it is a relatively simple build, I do need to smelt up some iron, get um, a hopper, and I also need to start a little baby farm because I do not have any leads to get the cows to their spot, so I'm going to have to lure them in with wheat, which may take forever. But one of the benefits to picking the plains or grassland or flatland or whatever you want to call it, picking this area as a home is that there is so much grass here. And that means it's gonna be fairly easy to get some seeds to start up this farm. So I'm gonna take a few minutes here and I'm gonna try and get rid of most of this grass back here. And then I'll come back once I'm ready to start the farm. Okay guys, from clearing this out back here, I got just over half a stack of seeds and I decided to, uh oh, nope. Hold that thought. Okay, back to it. Um, I did start just a little bit of a plot here. I decided not to make the farm, you know, close to the house or anything. Um, making the plots here next to the water that's already there is just easier instead of transferring, you know, multiple buckets of water, creating a lot of waterlogged stairs, blah, blah, blah. As I said, I'm not really focused on making this base or this area, like, the prettiest thing in the world. I might, you know add a little bit of detail, touch some things up, make some things prettier in general as time goes on, but this is not going to be my permanent base. I am going to make a big mega base eventually, later down the line, which I do have some ideas for, and I'm very excited to tell you guys, but I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm going to tell you in a few episodes when we get closer to starting it. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and plant up these seeds here. Wow, two seeds? I'm only, okay, you know what, we're gonna punch some grass. Come on, two seeds, two seeds is all I need. Just one more, one more seed, one more seed, one. Hey, okay, all right, all right. Okay, so now that we've got that going, it is gonna take it a few minutes before it, you know, will grow and I can use it to lure these cows to their ultimate doom. So I think in the meantime, while we're waiting on those wheat to grow, we're gonna go on a mining session for diamonds. I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got myself ready to go here. I do not have that many torches left, um, but I did bring, as you can see, what little bit of wood I had, so that way I can make some more down here if need be. So let's get to strip mining.
It's there. It's beautiful. Please be a decent sized vein. Okay, let's see. One, two. Yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Minecraft gods. We've got our first bit of diamonds! I'm so excited. Okay, so I really don't feel like making another pickaxe, <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this mining session where it's at. Let's go to the surface and see what goodies we've collected. Okay guys, so this is what our haul for the day looks like. Um, I did add the 14 iron ore that I already had in the chest to this, so I think we had... Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, because my math may not be right here but i think we had like 55 iron ore from that mining session or something like that now i thought i <laughs> i knew i heard you hi i'm not gonna treat you like those other trespassers because they had crossbows that were aimed at me okay you guys are fine as long as you don't spit at me do not spit at me Okay, you don't really have anything of interest at all, and quite frankly, I'm in real broke. But, you can stick around. You and your cute llamas can stick around for as long as you like. So our wheat farm is doing okay. It still needs a few more minutes before we can harvest at least some of these to lure the cows into the cow crusher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and prepare some of the materials that I'm going to need to make said cow crusher. Can I ask why you're trying to go up a two block height when you could just turn to your right? Um, I mean, you know, you do you, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna suggest, you know, maybe turning around a little bit, but okay, that's fine. Okay, you got out, but now your llamas are stuck. You're a really bad llama parent, I just have to say, okay? You're just gonna leave your poor baby llamas in a hole like this? Such a shame. Oh, wait a second. Your llamas aren't on leads anymore. Where are they? Where are your leads? Where are they? <gasps> oh, two leads! Oh, thank God! Do you know what this means? This means I don't have to use the wheat to get the cows to their little cow crusher. I can drag them in there by force. This is awesome. Well, seeing as now I don't need the wheat, I'm going to go ahead and get started on building this cow crusher. Now, as far as I'm aware, these are the only materials that I'm going to need. Uh, I 
potentially could need more because I'm trying to do this from memory. I'm not looking it up. I'm not looking it up right now. Um, so yeah, if there's something else that I'm missing, I will let you guys know. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now there are multiple ways to kind of tweak this and make this your own. Um, as long as you have the general principle set up, then I think it can work. So how this works is basically it takes advantage of the property in Minecraft called entity cramming. And basically what that means is for every one block in Minecraft, there is only a max of 24 entities that can stand there. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of cows, you're going to stick them in here. I've got to put a little water thing here. Um, but you're going to take a couple of cows. Oh, hold that thought. Wait a second. Did did you just go invisible? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just turn yourself invisible and drink milk to undo it? Did I just see that right? Why? Just, okay. All right, you're weird. Okay, any hoosie. Back to what I was saying. So, in a one block space, there are only 24 entities that are allowed. So, what's going to happen is you're going to take two cows, you're going to put them in this little hole here, you're going to breed them up, and eventually they will breed to the number 24. Now, every cow that is bred past that number, so if you've got 24 cows in there and you give them a bunch of wheat and they start breeding and they make babies, their babies will live, but then the adult cows will start dying until that number goes back down to 24. Okay, you are really, really rude. Really rude. I'm getting sick of this. You know what? I was trying to be nice. Jeez. Don't look at me like that. You saw nothing. Okay. Trying to explain this a third time. So, when the cows start dying, I've got, you know, a hopper and a chest under here, so that way their drops will be picked up, placed in that chest, and it will be easy access for me. Now, the most difficult part of all is trying to get these dagburn cows in this hole. Okay, Moo Moos. Where did you go? I purposefully left two of you alive now. Okay, there's one of you. Yes. Hi. Listen, you're going to love it. You're going to love this new home. Um, it's cozy, we'll say. Pick up the pace, George. Okay, yes. Walk forward a little bit more. Yes! Yes! Good. Good, Moo Moo. Okay, Moo Moo number two. Where are you? Hi, there you are. Listen, I've got a friend. I've got a friend for you. You're not going to be alone. You're going to live in this cozy little little home for the rest of your days. It's going to be great. It's like a little retirement plan. Okay, come on. I know you don't want to. Yes! No! No, 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 no. Uh-uh. This isn't, this isn't how we do things around here. I just have to tell- No! <gasps> oh. You dumb cows. Okay. All right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. I can roll with the punches. Get in. Okay, good, 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 Moo Moo. Listen, if you think you're getting out of this, you're so not. Hop up here. Come on. Yes, good, Moo Moo. No, bad, Moo Moo. No. <gasps> hey! Thank you. Okay, guys, I got my leads back. I got my cows in their place. This is great. This is going fantastic. Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put the fences up first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a little fence thing here. So that way, when I add the water, you know, it just prevents them from jumping out. And there we go. That ought to do. You know, I really like you two. You didn't spit at me when I murdered your owner. Guys, I think I'm going to keep these llamas. And eventually, when I get myself some name tags, I'm going to name them. 
If you guys have any suggestions for names for these two llamas, go ahead and throw them in the comments, and we'll pick a name for these guys in the next episode. Speaking of naming things, um, I just realized that there was something I forgot to mention in the last episode, and that has to do with the name for this world. If you guys noticed at the beginning of the last episode, I just called this world To Be Named Later. That is because, clearly, I do not have any creative capacity to come up with some cool names. So I need your guys' help. So while you guys are throwing some names in the comments for these two llamas, please go ahead and give me a name suggestion for this world. And I will also decide a name for this world based on those comments in the next episode. Let's get this breeding process going. <gasps> yes! Lucky! Our first little cow baby! Oh, you're gonna be so happy here. It's just great. I mean, isn't this cozy? I would want to live here. <laughs> yep. You know, you two, you two need a home, don't you? Let's see what I can do about that. Don't worry, I'm gonna make you guys a cute little home, I promise. I mean, I can't just have you guys running around exposed to the elements, you know, to the zombies and the skeletons and the, the wolves. Wait, do wolves even go for the llamas? I know they go for the sheep. Uh, I don't know. Now, I know that you can't actually do much with these llamas. I know that you cannot change their outfits, and I'm pretty sure you can't even ride these. Oh, oh, never mind. Gosh almighty, look how much there are. Hmm. You know, I am running low on food, and the cow crusher is not going to be very functional for a little bit. So it looks like a seafood dinner it is! Bone meal? Wait a second. How did I get bone meal? That doesn't make a lick of sense. Do they give you bone? Do they give you bone meal now? Is that a thing? What? No. No! My poor llamas. They despawned. I didn't think about that. Ah! No! 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 Do you have to? Listen, I just dealt with you in the last episode, and you show up again. That's just rude, bro. That's just so rude. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak around this way to get back to my home. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some armor here really fast. Please don't murder me until I get into my home. Thank you. Well, there's no better time to get armor than now, I suppose. These pillagers aren't gonna know what hit them. All right, I'm sick of you. My llama's disappeared. I'm already upset. And then you show up again. Ah. <laughs> I would consider that a success. Even if I do have arrows sticking out of my head and most of the other parts of my body. Nothing a little cooked salmon can't fix. Ha! A warning to all of your pillager friends. They're only gonna find death here. Okay, in all honesty, my PvP skills are also lackluster, and I'm surprised that I survived that. But that's all the time that I've got for today, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for all the love and support that I got from the, my first video. If you guys enjoyed the content and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and like the video on your way out. I'll see you guys in the next one!